Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews. And today we're doing something new, but yet still somehow old. Um, we are taking a look at some of the super action statue JoJo figures. And I do have quite a few of them. I know these are old. They have, go they have gone through a lot of re-releases. As you can see, this is version 1.5 of uh, Jotaro Kujo. I'm not sure if this is a new version of Star Platinum. It doesn't state it anywhere on the box, um, as far as I can see. So this might still be the old version of him. As you can see, I've not opened these guys up yet. So I have not even touched these. So I don't know what to actually expect, but I'll take a look at the directions. Um, these came from Hobby Link Japan, so these are brand new. Uh, I do have some stuff on my copy here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, it's really kind of gross. I wiped it down as much as I could, um, but it looks like it's pretty stained on there. So that's unfortunate, um, but it's just on this one. But yeah, here are the boxes. Um, I will be reviewing a good chunk of these uh, because I started watching it. I, I, I wasn't a big JoJo fan. I had seen it off and on and it took me a while to get with the animation. It's kind of the same, same way with One Piece. You know, I grew up from a uh, Fist of the North Star, Dragon Ball, uh, some Dragon Ball back in the day. So I was used to that kind of animation, a toy animation. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember who did Fist of the North Star, but... Um, the JoJo animation was just really goofy. The <laughs> the way that they talked in it and then like the script was really goofy and just just so it was just too strange to me. I was more I was into more like the serious animes. And it's hard to say that Dragon Ball was serious, but if you if you've seen JoJo, you understand what I'm saying. Like the, their dialogue and stuff is just weird. <laughs> it's just really weird. And so it was hard for me to, to actually get into when I was younger. But since I've gotten older, I have started watching it. And I started, I, I watched the first season, the second season, the third season. I think I'm on the fourth season right now. The fourth season, the fourth season anime is super weird. I think it's the fourth season. I haven't watched it in a while, but I think it's the fourth season. Because the third season, right, was when they got the, the stands, right? Am I right? That was the first time you saw stands, I think. I believe that's correct. I do think that's correct. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm on the fourth season. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and get these two guys out the box and see what they look like. Also no tape. So like I said, I did get these brand new. These have no tape at the bottom. And just notice that they were not taped. So I guess they, these super action statues ship, ship uh, with no tape on them. That's uh, That is absolutely new for me. Anyway, let's get them out the box. Alrighty, so we have them both out the packaging. And I did notice when I was taking these guys out that this has Star Platinum third. And this I don't think I don't think this is the same version that goes with this uh Jotaro. Um because I, I recall him being like pink. I think he was like a pinkish orangish color when he first appeared. Um when he first appeared. I'm not quite sure if his color changed in a different um, in a different series um, of of JoJo. Um, so I may this may be the wrong version of Star Platinum that goes with this figure, but because this is typically his stand, I'm just going to review them together. And the only reason I question that is because one of his accessories is definitely not a thing that. The uh, Star Platinum from the uh, third season could do. So, yeah, this might be a, this might be a Star Platinum from a different season. And from I haven't gotten there yet, so from what I know, this might not even be Joe Taro stand. It might go to some crazy thing where you can steal each other's stand and stuff. And that's might might be why he's purple. I don't know. He's evil now. I don't know. But I'm gonna review them together because I don't have the correct color version. Um, and I'll do that for all the all the um the jojo's bizarre adventure adventure figures that came with that were uh in seasons that had stands so you i won't do the review of that character until i also have that character stand um the very first season they didn't have stands 
the first season and the second season, I don't, I don't think they had stands. But uh, anyway, just wanted to give that little update. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the figures. Let's go ahead and take a look at JoJo first because he's the least articulated. Um, well, I don't even know why that matters without articulation yet, so it doesn't really matter. But um, first time ever having one of these uh, super action statues. So uh, there's some things I already don't like about them, like this hinge joint for the neck. I absolutely hate it. It looks horrible. I hate that for the neck. And I'm and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go 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 with that. These are older. Uh, to, this is very old tooling. Um, uh, because you got the big old peg uh, in his neck, like you can see that clearly. And it's not like it's offering all that much, but some downward movement. You, like you can't, you can't do any head head tilt on this guy. And I, I cannot seem to get his head off, even though he does come with an alternate head. I can't seem to pull it off. Um, so I might need to heat him up to get that head off. But I'm probably going to use this head anyway. Um, so that right there is already pissing me off. But other than that, he looks fantastic. The paint on his face looks phenomenal. I like the paint on his hat. It's still it's still older style of painting, which I knew what I was getting in somewhat what I was getting into when I uh, decided to order these. But I do think they are very well painted. I would prefer like a like a flat coat or something over them. Um, but other than that, it looks fantastic like his belts look really good all the buttons on his uniform look really really good you can see him there you can see him there you can see him on that that arm there boots are or shoes are all black so there's not too much of that the inside of his his jacket there looks really it's really nicely painted then we got the little strap here on his chest i do like the shading in his shirt looks great i like the subtle uh, skin tone on the parts that are skin i just hate i just hate that you can see the pin in his neck it's just so bad so so bad um but yeah even in his hair you can see there's subtle like i want to say like in the in the camera it looks like it might be a little grayish but i think it might be like a purplish let me see yes yeah, that was like a little hint of purple you can kind of see that i think i think it's a little kind of purple anyway um and then this this real chain hanging from his collar i love that i absolutely love that so yeah this guy is pretty pretty cool the wrinkles and everything we'll get to why we have a scene here in his leg and in, in uh during the accessories but yeah, he looks good. Let's take a look at Star Platinum. Now, Star Platinum looks awesome as well. I love the shading, the, the, the different tones of purple in his skin tone. It looks so good. All the, I mean, the paint on here is just fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. He also has that stupid hinge joint or hinge in his hinge in his neck. You can see the pin right there. I hate it. His is a little more hidden, so it's not too bad. Plus, he's a stand, so you can you can kind of you can kind of just you know just forget about that stuff because he's just kind of not a human character, so he can have that kind of stuff in him. Uh, he's not a human, so he can have like pins and stuff, you know, because stands come in all different shapes and sizes and different things. But yeah, this paint on him is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Now his toe did fall off of me. <laughs> I just need to super glue that in. That's not a big deal to me. What I just had to put a little little dabby dab of super glue right there, and it'll be fine. Uh, as long as I don't uh, freeze the joint, I don't put too much on there, and, don't, and, and I freeze the joint, I'll be fine. The gold on his belt, I love the shading, and it's like long cloth. I guess you could say that is everywhere. This guy is painted so nicely. I think it is fantastic, and it's purposeful paint. Like there's, you don't see any bleeding or over paints or anything it's so good look at that lining on his on his shin here look at that that is so nicely done i mean no wonder they call them statues they're painted like almost painted like a statue look at the gold on the shoulders he's been he's fantastically done i 
love this. I can't wait to start start making a display of these guys once I get enough of the scarf thingy here. Yeah, I like these a uh, lot. And they're not expensive. Like, I, like I'm getting these on like Hobby Link Japan and they are not expensive. Um, so they're, they're no more expensive than like a typical import action figure. Um, so I think they're fantastic. I think this guy is fantastic. Let's go ahead and get to their accessory, accessories because they have so many. All right, you got two pointy hands here. And those are also nicely painted. And I love this, the, the transitional skin tone in these. So you got two pointy hands, two like pinching hands. I don't, he doesn't have anything to pinch, um, but I don't remember what, what this is for. This might be like taunting or something or telling uh, somebody that they got a little, uh, you know, a little bitty, uh, little, little, uh, little hot dog down there. Um, he has, some spread open hands really like this nicely spread open hands then we have superman hands or karate chop hands superman flying hands and then we got two more hands that have no fingers in them and that's because these are meant to be connected to these accessories and actually, if I can open this, I'll go ahead and open this. So these are extra pants parts. So you can take off the front uh, part of his thighs and you can uh, you can simulate his hands in his pockets. You can, you can kind of see it right here on the uh, package on the back there. So that's for that. And he has one head. So he has this head with kind of a smirk on it. Very nicely painted. Very, very nicely painted. Just as uh, well painted as the head that came with him on, or in the package. Like even this little sculpt, they even got the little, is that like a fist right there? Or a hand? At least you can, you can, you can see it. But you can see what kind of peg is in here. So I don't, what kind of peg probably goes, is that a straight peg or is that a ball peg? I don't know, it feels like a straight peg but I cannot get his head off. Anyway, oh, and then he comes with one more thing. He comes with this, this, uh, I assume this is a message bubble. Um, it has these pegs in it, but it doesn't come with anything. I mean, he does come with a stand. So here, I uh, will show that. So, so he has this message bubble. I don't know what it says, but then he has this stand with the Jojo, uh, Jojo on, on the uh, bottom of it, but then he comes with an extra part, so maybe it, that's that that air that uh, text bubble can can be pegged into this. So, but yeah, there's the stand, and that is it for his accessories. And then for Star Platinum, two like clenching hands, I guess you can say, very nicely painted as well, very very nicely painted. Then we have a pointing hand for him as well. Uh, that one's painted fine. It's good enough. I don't. I mean, you got a little overpaint there, but. And then this is the accessory that I was talking about that he did. I don't recall him doing this in the third season, which is why I think this is a different version. And it clearly says Star Platinum Third. I don't remember him having a um, Dalsim like abilities or Mr. Fantastic like abilities. Usually he's throwing them punches. You know so. And I didn't, you didn't, I didn't get a punching effect, so it's clearly a different version of him. And then we get this fantastic yelling face. Why would I just laid it down there? Fantastic yelling face. I think this is absolutely awesome. Look at the eyes. So good. So, so good. And you can tell that they painted the mouth separately, so that's why it's so nicely painted. Yeah, I like that. So that is it for his accessories. He also comes with a stand. It looks just like JoJo's, JoJo's stand, so we don't really need to take a look at that. So let's get on to articulation. Alrighty, starting with JoJo. He can basically just look down. Uh, there's no side to side. He can spin around, but you are not going to get any side to side. And if he has a joint in his neck, it is frozen on my copy. I can't move it around. 
Um, he can get up that high on his shoulder. Uh, he, he does have a swivel up at the shoulder. He does have a butterfly there, but it doesn't do a whole lot going forward. More just to get him out and spread that way. Um, then he does get a 90, over 90 degrees on that elbow. Uh, can you swivel, swivel on that elbow? You can swivel on that elbow as well. So I guess you can use your bicep swivel there. He has a wrist, he has a uh, ball hinge for his wrist. And then for the chest, obviously this thing can swing around. For the chest, let's see what we can get here. I'm just gonna use all the joints at once. That's about as far as he can get. Let me get his hand out the way. It's about as far as he can get there. And then backwards, you, you get nothing backwards. Then we do get a swivel in in this in this joint and this bottom joint and the top joint. So we get a, we get swivels in all three of those joints. So that should help for posing for sure. Um, then the legs, the legs are the most disappointing in my opinion. Um, you get no uh, this side piece fell out. <laughs> you get no no splits, no splits whatsoever. At least I can't get him to do any splits. Um, no splits, that's super disappointing. You can't kick up about that far. Kicking back is not too, too bad. Uh, it's kind of stiff and loose at the same time. I, I feel like the paint is like catching. The kind of paint they use is catching, but it's still loose, it's weird. Um, clearly over 90 with the knee. Uh, this also swivels. So if that can help, that can help. Uh, down that much on the hinge joint on his ankle, up that far, and you can twist that down. You, know, you can twist that to to get a uh, to um, uh, ankle ankle rocker, and then you get a very loose, very loose uh, toe hinge there. All right, and that's it for JoJo. All right, now for Star Platinum, he does have quite a bit more uh, articulation. So like he said, he does have the same hinge joint as JoJo did. So he can kind of sort of look up, not really look down, but his neck is movable. So his neck is moving around here. He can, he can kind of get some side to side here, but uh, not really. So that's kind of disappointing. These will move out the way of his shoulders. These are soft pieces. This is about how high he can get here um, on the uh, shoulder. Uh, not really anything for a butterfly there. Bicep swivel, over 90 on the elbow, obviously a hinge joint on the wrist. As far as the uh, waist, he does, he can crunch here. So nothing back. You're not gonna get anything back on these guys. But forward, he can go with that just that one joint. Then the bottom joint will get him quite a bit. I don't, I'm not, I don't mind that at all. I do like that. I do like that. You do get a swivel at the waist there and at the top, and not really any side to side on this guy. But you can get some posing out of him for sure. I did a couple of things. This pose on the back, I was able to do. So. Uh, you can see what kind of joint system he has going on in his thighs here. Uh, you do get the swivel here. I think I forgot to do the swivel on Jojo. He does have a swivel here also. Uh, so swivel here. He can kick up about that far. About that far. Back, good, good amount far, good amount of back too. Uh, again, splits are just not happening here. It's as far as he can get here. I don't know what. Well, it hits it hits these little things on his waist. If they hadn't made these soft, he would probably be able to get a decent uh, a decent uh, split. But because these are hard, you can't really get this thigh piece past that. You can, but you kind of gotta maneuver it, and then you can kind of get what is could be considered a split. So you just kind of gotta move it around. Uh, we get that's what we already did that over 90 degrees there on the knee and then up not really down not really then you can get an ankle rocker if you move that joint but you can't it's not great and then obviously i'll do a toe joint here um but that is it for articulation on both of these guys not 
the best, not the worst by any means. Um, it could be better, but again, I think we're dealing with some old tooling here, some old figures that they kind of basically just re-released and maybe tighten some joints, I assume. Um, but I think that's really all they probably did to the different versions of these. Um, I think he has a swivel here in his elbow too, yeah, look at it. Uh, but yeah, that's it for these guys. Let's uh, move on to some comparisons. Alrighty, and here they are next to the Mafex Bane, Nightfall Bane, and Mafex Night Nightfall Batman. Obviously, huge. I, I mean, I mean, the Bane is huge. I think the Batman is, yeah, Batman is bigger than both of them, or taller than both of them as well. I think, let's see. Uh, they're about the same height with Batman's uh, pointy, pointy ears. So, but uh, yeah, that's what they look like with them. And here they are next to some bus mod figures from Demon Slayer. We got Tanjiro and Tom. Sorry, still, I ain't got it. I still ain't got it. Still ain't got it. Uh, Tomioka, maybe? Is that his name? I might be wrong. Um, I'm probably wrong. But yeah, here, here they are next to some bus, bus mod figures. Um, yeah, they're probably not quite in the same realm or scaling there. All right, and lastly here, they are next to some chicks. Uh, we got She-Hulk, the Marvel Legends She-Hulk, and the SH Figure Arts Rainbow Mika. And obviously, She-Hulk is gigantic. They would not be anywhere in the same lore or anything, but I'm just doing a figure comparison of what I got sitting next to me. Unfortunately, I haven't opened any more uh, uh, action, super action uh, statues. So I don't have any other ones to compare them to. So, but anyway, that's it for the comparisons. All right. So for my final thoughts, I love these guys. I like I said earlier in the in the review, I can't wait to uh, to get these uh, in a display with a bunch of other JoJo's figures. I'm super excited about it. So, um, some of the, these these guys seem to go become available in and out. They're kind of in and out of the sites, so, so you just gotta kind of check on them. I got these from uh, Hobby League of Japan, so they might still have them available. But anyway, that's it for the review. Comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.